In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply symbols to the different sides of a 3D object. So, as we've uh, discussed before, you can turn shapes into 3D shapes using the effect, uh, and then 3D, and then uh, using one of the uh, options to create it into 3D. And if we want to alter a shape, we can come to its appearances, and we can click onto the effect that is being applied to it. So something that's interesting that one can do is when we have a 3D shape, we can alter and change their, the way that each individual side looks. If we come down to Map Art and we click on that, what it'll do is it'll ha uh, show us the various sides that exist. And it's a little bit difficult to navigate, and we can see that it shows what the side is. And very lightly, kind of in red, it shows which side we are, uh, we're on. And as I cycle to the different sides, we can see that it is changing what side is uh, we're affecting. Now, what we can do, and I'm going to cycle to mm, that left side, is that we can come to symbol and we can click on one of the possible uh, options. Unfortunately, we can only really add one symbol at a time but we can scale and rotate and alter our various objects, and we can apply different symbols to different sides. So maybe I'll have this big splotch on this side, and then I'm gonna come around to the right side, and I'm gonna uh, give it this, uh, this flower. It's up to you on how you want to move things around, and we can press okay, we can cancel, or we can even clear the things that are happening. I think I'm gonna clear what's on there. And we can always uh, press OK, and then come back to uh, come back to the appearances and change it later if we want to. Another thing that can be very helpful is creating your own symbols so that you can add it to these designs. For us, if I wanted to turn this into maybe a skyscraper, what I might decide to do is to create a series of windows. So I'm gonna create some windows and I think some uh, kind of a, a warm orange, oops, get off my object first, but I'm gonna make create uh, a warm orange uh, and I'm gonna create a series of windows. So I'm gonna set it up over here. I think I want them to be square, so I'm gonna press shift and I'm gonna quickly change and duplicate these using the selection tool. I'm gonna create like three windows. Actually, let's make it four. There we go like that. I can select all those and I can start creating a couple of windows. And I can I can make these uh, make a lot depending on how much I how much I think I need for my design. And so there I have windows and I could alter and change those. But um, to make them into a symbol, what we're going to need to do is grab them all. And then we're going to come to the symbols palette. And so you can open that up. And if it's not there, you can pull it up through the windows and then pull it up through symbols. And we can see the symbols that have already been made exist in this library, and we can press new symbol. Since we've selected all these windows, when I press new, uh, new symbol, it apply, uh, applies it to all, this sh all these shapes. And I can uh, give it a name like, like windows. It doesn't matter if it's a movie or glyph, uh, that's for for a particular file type. Um, so you can press OK, and uh, it'll work out the same. And we can see we have that symbol there. So I can delete this. It's not important. And if I don't want this symbol anymore in the symbols palette, I can press the trash, and I can delete that as well. But I'm going to keep this around, and I'm going to click on my 3D shape, go to the appearances, and change it. And I can go to Map Art, change to the side that I want to add these windows to and I can choose my new windows shape. And this is a little bit big, but that's okay. I think I'm gonna shrink these down. And there we go, super easy. I have windows, press okay, and there we go. If I decide that I wanna alter these windows, I'm going to have to alter the shape itself. And we can see double clicking on it, I've altered, uh, I've gone into these symbols and say maybe I wanna have one of these be bright red. And that's okay. And then I'll double click out of this win uh, of that and it'll update the windows. Unfortunately, I'll have to go back into the extrude and bevel and 
we can see once I clicked on it, it started to add that to the overall shape. It looks like it's upside down because I probably didn't uh, pay attention to which direction, but that's an easy enough thing to go through to go back to the map art, find the side where something is being uh, is affecting and rotate it around. And that is how you apply symbols to a three-dimensional shape.